Hey gang, there's no reason humans should exist. We're slow, we're not that big, we don't have any sharp claws. The only animal that shouldn't be alive more than us is this incredibly slow, lazy beast. I'll never understand how these guys survive this treacherous world. We humans need our complex brains because it's the only tool we have to be able to survive. But why have no other animals developed a level of intelligence anywhere close to ours? Surely it would benefit a lion to be smart along with all its other skills. Don't call me Shirley. Except not really, because everything comes at a price. And that is especially true with brains. Most animals don't need to be smarter than they are. You could argue that some animals are even dumb. Okay, okay, I'm done picking on sloths. They're too cute, they don't need to be smart anyway. But all species alive today are here because they've evolved some trait that helps them survive, like camouflage, big teeth, or charisma. I'm just a cool dude in a loose mood. None of which require any extra energy to have. So if you don't need something expensive, like a bigger, more advanced brain, evolution likely won't favor it, and so you won't get it. Brains are very complex and require tons of energy. As far as energy to operate, the cost of primate brain tissue scales faster than the cost of non-neural tissues. So only our ancestors that evolved the proper size and diet could afford to grow larger, more complex brains, which is why one group, us Homo sapiens, were able to outcompete all our competition. Checkmate, that's 58 to zero, buddy. You sure you wanna keep playing? It takes half as much energy to digest processed food, so we get way more energy from eating processed food, which sucks for us nowadays. I'll have the big burger meal with a large shake. That's your entire day's worth of calories. Energy is way too easy to come by nowadays. But a million years ago, our ancestors needed all the calories they could get. Discovering fire and cooking was the first form of processing food. Our ancestors probably just thought it tasted better, when in reality, they were able to provide their brains with way more energy, allowing them to grow much faster. The total number of neurons in the brain increased from about 27 billion neurons in Australopithecus, to 62 billion neurons in Homo erectus, and to about 86 billion neurons in Neanderthals and modern humans. Our brains are only half the story though. If we were, say, reptiles and laid eggs and didn't care for our young, our species couldn't survive. You're two hours old now, son. It's time to go out on your own. A human baby would die immediately if left on its own in the wild. We have so much knowledge that we need to fill these big complex brains with that it takes years of parental support before we can be trusted to live on our own. We also need the physical form that we have in order to be intelligent. Humans are one of the few groups of animals with opposable thumbs along with apes and koalas. A bird couldn't do the work of a human. Get back to work, Stuart. If we didn't have these, we wouldn't be able to use tools to build things or even make a fire to make the tools in the first place. So our intelligence came from a combination of factors including diet, society, hands, and a lack of any other way to survive. And with a complete lack of needing to be physical and hunt and kill our food, pretty much the only muscle we use nowadays is our brain. We spend all day every day for the first couple decades of our life doing this instead of this. Which makes it so we're now basically bred to be even smarter with each generation. And because of that and the high level of technology we've already reached, our collective intelligence is growing at an exponential rate. But each human knows comparatively very little because we don't need to know everything. Since the invention of writing 6,000 years ago, we've been able to share our knowledge with anyone across both physical space and time. You probably have no idea how all the many parts of your smartphone work, or even where your poop goes after you flush the toilet, but that's fine because you don't need to know, you just need to be good at one thing to contribute to society. So we're basically now not just intelligent creatures. Every one of us has access to the entire human knowledge library, making every one of us effectively as smart as 8 billion humans. That's how we can have internet, smartphones, rockets flying around the solar system, and skyscrapers this freaking big. No one human could do any of that, and that's pretty cool. Every time you subscribe to my channel, you'll gain another brain here on.